Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Or if you are new here, thanks for joining me today. Ooh, we are doing something different today. Yep, I'm going to paint. I'm gonna start with a sketch and chalk first. Also, the sound of this chalk on here sounds so nice. It's like a back scratch, but that became painfully obvious how rusty I was when I mixed this purple color. So off to the gesso pile with that one, and I started again with a sketch. And this time I made sure to mix it, but much lighter, like way lighter. That is looking much better. Yes, ah, uh, there we go. That is the color. That is the vibe I want, which is soft and comforting. And that other dark purple was just way too harsh. It had to go goodbye. So this, yeah, this is it. This is the color. So now I am on to the pink portion of the sky, which is going to be the day portion. I'm using a light pink and lightly blending that into the purple. I want one to flow in another. And then I added a little bit of cadmium yellow with white on the brush for that sunset. And now we are officially entering the phase of the painting that I like to call the ugly duckling phase because it looks very sus right now. But I know if I just trust the process, she'll be a badass swan by the end. But first, I am going to have to let her dry. So once upon a time, I used to work at one of those paint and sip places as a painting instructor where I would try to teach you to paint and you would get drunk at the same time. Anyways, I had to fold paper towels every day the exact same way and I still fold them the same way every time I paint. It's very annoying. All right, let's get back to painting here and mix a lovely color for my moon. Oh, or not. Let's try this one. Nope, that's not it either. There's the color. That was the winner. That is the shade for our moon. And now it's time to add our little moon child here. Dumping their bucket of stars onto the land below. And this is where I get lost in the highly meditative process of dotting the canvas. It just puts me in a trance and I love it. And of course, I gotta add some fancy stars because we're fancy. Oh, would you look at that? Yep, this is where the painting starts coming together. Hooray. Yep, yep, yep. And now I'm adding some texture into that moon and some watered down white paint to give some more ambiance. With the addition of the stars, the pink area felt a little unbalanced. So to remedy that, I added some fluffy clouds. And here's a little tip for those of you painting clouds. When they look inviting enough to sleep in, that's when you know you are done and you need to leave them alone. I put the paintbrush down and stop. And now I'm going to add some squared off dots and squared off squiggles to give the impression of a town below because we're not going to sit here and draw buildings. No, I don't have time for that. But I do have time to be extra, so I added more gold details to the moon and a little glitter to the stars. All right, y'all, it is time for the reveal. Let's take a look. That's it for today. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.